Forensics Detectors, I'm Dr. Cos, your gas meter, gas detector, and gas analyzer expert works. And today, welcome to the top three best sewer gas detectors, folks. Welcome. And I'm here to tell you that is complete marketing jargon. You are better than that. I am better than that. Let's be smart and understand the situation and make an intelligent selection based on that information. Okay, so let me walk you through what you're going to be looking for um, in your selection and you're going to understand the situation much, much better. Dr. Cos, I have rotten egg smells. Which detector do I need, Dr. Cos? What's going on? So that's the typical um, call I get and this is what I recommend, folks. Now, understand your sewer gas and your sewerage is it's like drinking wine. There are different components, there are different aromas and textures similar to the sewer gas. In sewer gas, we have hydrogen sulfide, ammonia, methane, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and various other components. So the next question is, Dr. Cos, what do I detect? Well, typically the one that really makes us go crazy is the rotten egg smell, the hydrogen sulfide. But sometimes we don't smell it because our nerves are climatizers. We sort of get this olfactory fatigue, that's what they call it in the academic world. And there may be more ammonia or more methane. I've seen it all, folks. So what I recommend as your first station stop is to grab yourself a gas leak detector like the one we sell at Forensic Detectors. And what this is like a non-specific gas detector non-specific gas detector so it detects various gases um, and it's a combustible type so it detects a lot of the combustible gases including ammonia and hydrogen sulfide so this is our red version our 90e red version it comes in the gooseneck and the sensor is at the end there and it also we also have it come in the yellow version so you may love the yellow version or you may love the red version you may love the color screen you may want the monochrome screen they do exactly the same thing, same sensor technology and specifications. So again, we recommend grabbing yourself these gas leak detectors to determine those gas leaks, be it a methane leak, a sewer gas leak, a rotten egg smell. This is the guy you need. And by the way, plumbers love these things. They pick up leaks that they've never picked up before with their standard equipment. So that's what we recommend as a first stop station. These are the ones you need. Next, oh, Dr. Cos, I'm a plumber and I want a hydrogen sulfide setup. Not a problem at all. We have a hydrogen sulfide. And for those plumbers and people that want to detect hydrogen sulfide for that specific application, we have it. This is what you need. You need the pump. So this is our standard pump with our stainless steel probe tubing to the detector hydrogen sulfide detector let me just turn that off basically what you do is you point the pump draws the air at the end there it draws takes the air through through the tubing onto the cap here and it gives you the hydrogen sulfide concentration 0.1 ppm so this is the setup you point sample and you detect quite straightforward this is the setup you need for hydrogen sulfide. Now again, be attentive, 0.1 ppm resolution. The nose can actually pick up 0.001 ppm resolution, which is what they usually call the level of distinct odor um, awareness. So that's what they call it in, again, the academic world. So let's recap folks, for mom and pops or for the general person, having a home and smelling some foul smell coming from the sewer. I recommend folks getting these gas leak detectors, very low cost options and very, very, very effective, okay? Because we don't know what the component, it could be hydrogen, could be ammonia, it could be something else. That's the one you need. You don't want to box yourself in and say, I want to go for methane, I want to go for hydrogen sulfide. No, 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 no. You want to detect anything that's leaking. This is the one you need. And for the plumbers, as we said, you get the two unit setup, folks. And that's basically it. Look. Enjoy the wine. I love the reds. Have a great day. See you soon.